guys. We are back on Buzz Chum. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you. Oh yeah. The Walking Dead, kids. The Walking Dead season seven mid-season finale reaction. Will they or won't they in the second half of season seven? It's definitely, definitely been a little slow, but the last couple episodes have heated up. They're foreshadowing a lot. Will all of this come to fruition by the end of season seven or no? Carol has been non-existent this season. She still wants to be left alone, doesn't want to fight, blah, 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 blah. She's at the kingdom. She's living in a little house on the border. She doesn't want to band together. Carol has got to become badass again. Has got to. This is boring, boring Carol. Boring. We've loved where they've taken Carol's storyline. Carol in the comics friggin' sucked. She's awesome and she's badass in the TV show. And right now, I'm sorry. She's sucking ass like she does in the comments. We want to see Carol badass again. We want to see Carol there with Daryl, with Rick, fighting side by side, going after Negan. Will Maggie rise up and rule Hilltop by the end of season seven? We don't think that this is going to happen by the end of season seven. We think they're laying the groundwork for this. We do think she's going to rally Hilltop with Rick and Jesus and Michonne and all of them to fight against Negan. But I don't think she's going to be like full, full on ruler of Hilltop until season eight. I think after this whole battle and war with Negan is over, that is when she is going to oust Jeffrey. See you later because he freaking friggin' sucks. We hate him. And Maggie will be ruler of Hilltop. Will we find out exactly who Enid is? Okay, Enid has been a mystery to me. Um, they're obviously setting up this little Carl and Enid love affair they have since the beginning. In the comics, Carl has another girl. There's no Enid. There's this other girl. She comes from another group. I'm not going to spoil any of that. However, though, I'm wondering if friggin' Enid is a part of this other group. They're called the Whispers, and they're probably coming in season eight. Have they planted Enid here early, kind of changed her name? I forget what the girl's name is in the comics. It doesn't really matter. But is she going to be one of these whispers? She mentions that her parents, like, lost their way or something. She didn't say her family was dead. So it did appear that she could have ran away from her family. Don't think we're going to find out about Enid until next season, though. Will Eugene finally become badass? Okay, kids, in the comics, I really like Eugene. He's very similar to who he is in the TV show, but he's less whiny, less cryy. Like last episode, he's just crying and all that. We're tired. We're tired of Eugene being a big pussy, guys. We're tired of it. In the comics, he volunteers to make bullets. It's his idea. In the TV show now with Negan taking him and knowing he can make bullets and all that, this is different, but we like it. But we want friggin' Eugene to man up, kids. Man up. Stop being a puss. We think he will by the end of the season. I mean, being taken by Negan, all of that. The biggest thing that we think will happen this second half of the season is the war with Negan. I'm thinking they don't have it come to a full close. I'm thinking they have it come to a full close at the beginning of season eight. And that they're going to build, 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 build to this war. And season seven, the finale, is going to leave us with a cliffhanger of everyone battling Negan. And we just don't know where it ends. Comment below. Let me know what you think of my will they or won't they. What do you think will happen by the end of season seven? Yeah, kids, yeah. The Walking Dead, kids. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan. On Buzz Chuck. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>